Hi guys. Well, I can't remember if I'd mentioned this in previous vlogs, but uh, I did have a couple of bikes that Mum's I wanted to bring over, and they got bought over this morning. Mum dropped them off when she um, came over to pick me up. So this is the first one. It's the Reebok Hardtail. Mm, probably doesn't look too good at the moment, although it does look better on camera. Trust me, it looks a little bit worse in person. Um, so far, what I can see I need to do is clean down those forks. That's just surface rust. Most of that will clean off. There might be the odd little spot, but they do work. I have tried them. Um, I tried them down at the dump before I bought the bike, which is where I got this from. Uh, well, the correct term these days is recycling centre. That chain's far too rusted up. I mean, I could soak it in oil and free it all up, but that's just no point. I'll just cut that off and use one of the other ones I've got. I've got spares. Change these um, ugly-looking uh, brake calipers. Because they do look really horrible. Um, I don't know if I need to change any gear cables yet. I don't think so. They do look clean. They're not rusty. So I might get away with cables. Uh, that front wheel didn't come with the bike. Um, that's just one I grabbed out of the shed so I could uh, wheel it around. A couple of tubes. I think I haven't tried the back wheel yet, so I don't know if it's going to inflate or not. It's got a really weird um, six-speed freewheel on it. Look at that. Look at the size of first gear compared to second. It's got one of those um, overdrives on it. I've only ever seen that done with a 7-speed freewheel, though. That's the first time I've seen it done with a 6. Again, I don't know if any of the teeth on the freewheel are any good. I've got to check all that. Check the crank. Now that looks alright. Or at least third gear looks alright. I think I can get away with the C. It's got front rear reflector already on it, which is rare. <laughs> it is actually rare to have both reflectors on an old bike. A lot of the time they get broken off. Or people take them off. I don't know why they take them off. Never mind. Change it. I'm going to change the angle of these brake levers. I don't like them. But uh, this one will be sold. Um, I don't think I'll get a lot for it, to be honest. Well, I never do get a lot. I think the most I've ever sold a bike for is about £35. Um, which is probably about... I don't know, but 80 US dollars, something like that. Um, anyway, moving on. This is my third attempt at the, no, second attempt at this video, because I went on for far too long in the, the um, first one. So, moving, moving swiftly on is my um, Hercules, three speed. Um, just got to double check the wheel bearings, because they were loose, and I've only fin um, done them up finger tight just to see if they were actually loose and I could get away with tightening the bearings up and I can so I'll sort those out properly bottom bracket bearings need doing and they're probably going to be imperial so I haven't got the foggiest idea where I'm going to get those from because <laughs> I haven't got any um, four new brake pads because they're well there's literally one in the fr at least one in the front cap but that's worn down to pretty much fuck all um, the seat looks horrible, but it is actually quite comfy to sit on, so I'll leave that. Um, I've just got to reconnect the um, gear cable as well, because uh, I had to take the wheels off to get it in the car. And I've got no idea what it's got a white mud guard on the front and a green on the um, green on the front and a white on the back. I think the calipers are a bit wobbly as well. Yeah, they need a bit of a tighten up. So, yeah, here's a light bracket on there, I might take, well actually I will take it off because I'm going to put dynamo lights on this. Yeah, dynamo lights. So, um, I can do a little tutorial video on that. Um, but today, when I was over at Mum's, me and my stepdad decided to go down the recycling centre just for something to do because we we're both bored out of our skulls. It's only a mile up the road from Mum's, so... And uh, this one was sitting outside. No, it's nothing special. It's only a uh, old Apollo, which is um, distributed by Halfords. So, uh, 
the wheel, I've pumped the wheels up, they hold air, I did that when I was over at Mum's today, rear light works, it came with a rear light, that works, again I was charged a fiver for it, so, but um, I actually like this one, and I don't have a full suspension bike, the only reason I sold the other ones I did have is because I didn't like them, but uh, I do like this one, I did try giving it a ride around the yard, but the bottom bracket bearings are absolutely fucked, to put it bluntly. They're no good, and they've had it. Uh, uh, I've got to take all that out and replace it, which I'm not looking forward to, because uh, sometimes them um, bottom brackets can be an absolute ass to get out. The brakes are disconnected, again, because I had to get it in the car, so I had to take the wheels out. I will um, change the tyres. Because uh, there is some life left in them, because they're these sort of funny hybrid tyres, but um, I will change them because I don't actually like them. The brakes, when they are connected, do work. So, apart from changing that bent adjuster there, I'm not going to bother with those. Rear gears need resetting. Because when I put it in first gear here, it actually only hits like, I think it's fourth on the on the um, gears at the back so yeah front ones work but um, the shift is knackered as you can see there's actually a gap here and there isn't supposed to be it's supposed to be nice and buttered up like that and the other reason is it's in first gear yeah, near enough it's a little bit out as you can see but I can do that as well it's not supposed to do that but as much thanks to Biggles again I've uh got a complete pair of handlebars in there with um, identical grip shifts on. So I will have to change the front um, gear cable in it because it's not going to be long enough because um, we just snipped through the cables when we took the handlebars off because it was a lot easier and quicker. But um, you can change the cables on them. It's not easy but you can do it. So, yeah. Um, Biggles also gave me a bunch of mountain bike wheels. He had a few frames and whatnot given to him. This one being one of them. Um, and a bunch of wheels. But uh, he weren't interested in wheels so he just threw them up on his um, dirty alloy pile. Most of, them were, most of them were alloy wheels. And this one was on there. I don't know what it came out of originally. But it's a halo combat rim. It's a pretty thick rim, so it'll take a pretty chunky tyre. It's got only a single gear on it, which I'm, which is the, one of the reasons I picked the wheel up, because I don't actually want the rim. Um, what I picked this wheel up for was basically that sprocket, the quick-release skewer, and that brake disc. And I've just noticed these are stainless steel spokes, so I'm going to pinch those out of that as well. <laughs> um... I didn't really want the frame, I only picked the frame up because I want those bearings out of the headstock. Because when I built the Claude, I was supposed to have put sealed bearings in the headstock, but I didn't, I put normal. So there's, um, it doesn't tighten up properly, I can't tighten it up properly, so there's a bit of play. Because if I tighten it up properly, I can't steer. Um, but now, hopefully, these ones will fit when I um, gently tap them out of the frame, and that'll solve that problem. And uh, apart from the soft forks at the front there, there won't be any problems with the Claude. That's one reason I haven't used the Claude Butler too much either. Um, also, uh, I noticed Biggles had already taken the frames he was given down the yard. Because that's where the bike we took the handlebars from, he took down the yard yesterday, and we went down today to uh, grab it. Because I remember seeing the um, grip shift on there. But um, I did look at the frames, and they were shit. They weren't worth rescuing. In fact, um, there's two, at least two ladies' mountain bikes down the recycling centre, unless they've thrown them in the scrap bin. Um, that are in better nick than what was in that pile, so... I but, um, there was several with these, um, V-brakes on them, so I've rescued as many as I could. 
There was one there that had some really shit cheap plastic ones on, and I left those. Couldn't be bothered. Well, then there's several pairs in here, and some outers, and at least one cable. So, yeah, there's a few brake noodles still on there. Uh, and I've bought a few of my own bike bits back as well that I had in the car boot stuff. There's a bag of stuff down here as well. Uh, I've got some bagels. Oh, just move that. And there's a bike seat in there and some more free wheels he gave me. Um, some he actually gave me off his um, out of his own stock because he was clearing that out. And some were on some of the wheels in his um, scrap pile that weren't no good to me. Well, one of them was a steel rim anyway, and nobody likes steel rims. Because one of the questions I do actually get asked when I'm selling, especially ladies' bikes, is does it have alloy wheels? Um, I suppose ladies just like alloy wheels, I don't know. So I do like to put alloy wheels in all my bikes. That's what you commonly get in your bikes nowadays, so... Uh, that's about it, bike-wise. So I've got three jobs in here to do. I need to prioritise this one, though. I've still got a GT frame down in the shed. I still haven't done. <laughs> I've got my brother's um, Viking, which he's actually now said he'd like to make it single speed. Obviously, I can't use that rim because it's going to be too fat for it, but I could take that single speed off and put it on another free hub wheel, because that's what it's got to go on. That's a free hub on there that would take um, a cassette, not a free wheel that you'd find on this, like this wheel. Um, I do believe I've still got some wheels with free hubs on, so I can uh, soon swap that and find a couple of wheels. It'd be just a case of um, finding a single speed crank to put on it. But, uh, yeah, that's what he wants. That will certainly save pissing around trying to find a Dralia dropout for that Viking, because that's a really weird frame. Um, plus, I've got the... Pardon me, I've got the Optima frame up here that I need to prioritise as well. That's got to be done. Uh, da, 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 da. I think that's about it, bike-wise. So, yeah, that one's being done for myself. So I've been wanting a um, Gents 3-speed, more my size, for ages. So I am hoping I can get them poxy car pins out of there. Cause that's, <laughs> that is one of the biggest bitches on these bikes, on these old car cranks. I want to get that friggin' car pin out. And of course I've got to get that out. It's either that or I've got to try and get a hacksaw blade through down there and cut that axle through. Which means I'd have to put a whole new bottom bracket and crank on it. And I'd rather not do that. Um, that one's going to be for me, which I don't need right this moment. Um... So I've got the rally stone fly downstairs I can use. And if I quickly, it wouldn't take me five minutes to whip those um, sealed bearings into the frame. So if I do that repair, I'll have two bikes to use. So I wouldn't be any hurt. There, try again. In any hurry for this one. So I am going to prioritise this one and get this one done. Probably not tomorrow because I'm. Depending on the weather, I'll be over at Mum's. Um, so we've got to work out in the workshop as well as work outside as well, doing a lot of tidying up and sorting out. And uh, we, neither me or my stepdad really want to be doing that in the rain. So it is weather permitting. If it's pissing it down, then I won't bother. We'll leave it till Sunday or one day during the week or whatever. <sighs> anyway, I'm going to end the video before I babble on too much. So... Uh, Thanks a lot for watching. If you like the video, hit the like button. And uh, if you enjoy bike videos, hit the subscribe button because there will be plenty more to come.
because uh, every time I go down the dump, I'm going to try and make sure I've got some cash on me, so if I see one, I can grab it. And uh, I'll talk to you again pretty soon. Bye.